under current uh, CDC guidance and the FDA emergency use authorization, all individuals 18 and older who live or work in high-risk settings are eligible to receive booster doses. Now, there have been uh, there has been a lot of confusion over who is eligible. We understand there may be an announcement from the CDC and the FDA coming tomorrow. Um, that hasn't been confirmed. We're hoping that that will be broadened. But in the meantime, as we wait for the CDC and the FDA, <clears throat> I want to uh, note that because of the uh, elevated COVID-19 uh, cases right now in the state of Utah, almost all Utahns currently reside in a high transmission county and therefore are at high risk of contracting COVID-19, especially the Delta variant. So effective tomorrow, all Utahns um, are we are asking all providers to provide boosters to any adult in the state of Utah who would like to receive a booster since we are in a high risk situation. So based on the timing of their first shots, the following people could receive their booster doses if they have not already. Anyone aged 18 and older who received their second dose of either Pfizer or Moderna vaccine more than six months ago, or anyone 18 and older who received their first dose of the Johnson & Johnson vaccine uh, more than two months ago. Now, several states have made that change. We add to that list again starting tomorrow if the CDC and uh, and the FDA make a decision uh, obviously that that won't be uh, that, that won't change anything but we are encouraging people to uh, to get their boosters, um, and and we we're also asking vaccine providers to proactively reach out to anyone over the age of 65 as well as those with underlying medical conditions to encourage them to get a booster dose. Unfortunately, the whole booster uh, discussion has been very confusing to most people. Um, it's been estimated that nationally about 90 percent of adults qualify under the uh, the uh, under the recommendations of the CDC and the FDA right now, but it's so confusing that no one knows if they qualify. And so we just want to make it very simple, especially as we're heading in to, uh, into the holiday season. We know that families are going to be together, um, especially with high, higher risk uh, grandparents and others, and we want people to be as safe as possible. So, uh, so we, again, we, we encourage people to get their boosters and uh, to, uh, to continue, and those who have not been vaccinated, obviously, to get vaccinated. So again, due to high transmission levels in our state, all individuals 18 and over who are fully vaccinated should consider getting a booster dose now.